race fans, welcome back to the new Smyrna Speedway for the 20th annual Clyde Hart Memorial 100. We have a field of 14 cars set to go for 100 laps tonight. And we're going to do a little something interesting tonight. So we're going to go number four. We're going to do a reverse starting lineup. We're going to go from the back to the front. Starting scratch on the field in the 68, that is Russ Shaw. In the 17, that is Blaze Hetznecker. Scheduled to roll off 12. It's the 33 of Daniel Webster. He's currently sitting on the pit lane. You also have the 9X of Jeff Jaquette. The 11 of Dave Rogers and the 77 of Rich Clauser. The top eight drivers were all inverted. So we're gonna have Brad May and the 12D of David Green. The double zero of Anthony Cataldi, the 5K of Daniel King Jr. In the 27, that is Bobby Good. In the 58, he came all the way out from California to be in this race tonight, and he won an opening night. That is Tyler Ankrum. Rolling off on the outside of the front, we're in the number 20 MJS concrete car. That is Anthony Sergi. And on the pole in the 51, that is Michael Atwell. Doug Elliott is listed as being on the driver's list, but it does not appear that his car has made it out tonight. But Daniel Webster, just in time, slipping out as we're beginning the pace laps. Last week, during the pro, during the late model race here we had last week, David Rogers in the 11 won in a photo finish over Brad May. May looking to win tonight's 100 lapper. This is the 20th annual edition of this race. Dave Rogers did win the 1999 version of this event, and May is the defending winner of this race. May also won both the Pro Late Model and Super Late Model Track Championships here last year. There are four drivers in this field to watch, and my drivers to watch, definitely Brad May and David Rogers, but I'd also like to point out that 58 of Tyler Ancrum, the opening night winner, and the 20 of Anthony Searchy, all no, and the 5K, of, and a fifth driver to watch in this field is that 5K of Daniel Keen Jr. Keep an eye on that patriotic paint scheme for Keen in that 5K. Right now, they're going through the paces right here. Warming up the tires. Now, while we're doing these pace laps, you might be wondering, who is Clyde Hart? For those of you who are unfamiliar with New Smyrna Speedway, Clyde Hart is the founder of the New Smyrna Speedway. His pickup truck sits right on the hill between turns one and two. And without Mr. Hart, I will not be standing on top of the press box doing what I am doing right now. All right, NASCAR official is going to give the doubling up sick the double up signal next time they come by. Now another interesting thing to note here is that the first three caution laps will count. So first three caution laps will count towards the lap count of this race, which is interesting because normally the other races here at this track, the caution laps do not count. All right, everybody is doubling up. And next time by, we will go green and we're racing. All right, double file down the back straightaway. The silver pace truck's gonna run up ahead a little bit. Daytona Dodge pace truck pulling off the track. Here they come at a turn number four. NASCAR push has the green flag in the air. We are racing. A great start by Anthony Sergi as he goes straight to the lead. Atwell's gonna try and stay close. He's gonna move up here, Bobby Good. Trying to get around him on the outside for a second. Here comes Ankrum in the 58. 
down on the inside. Oh, here we go. A little dicey in the middle here. Top one in the book. Top three. Sergi at well good. Here comes Heller and in the fourth spot in the 58. A little good race and going back towards the middle of this pack here. Right now, top five straight now with Ankrum and Keen. Oh, David Green gets loose. David Green goes around. David Green has gone around on the front straightaway. Caution flag is out for the 12D. David Green spinning around, coming out of four. First caution of the night. Looks like Green is able to get that 12 car, 12D car rolling. Just gonna see if we can get it straightened out here. And it's rolling. So Green will be able to rejoin the race. All right, here we go. Double up. All right, the one to go signal is out. We'll be racing next time by. All right, here we go. Green flag out. We're back racing. Restart. Another great start for Sergi. Here comes Tyler Ankrum on the outside. Ankrum going to see if he can pull into second. Atwell staying low on the bottom. Search is going to get the lead off two down the back straight away. Atwell still in second. Ankrum up high. Battle for second. And we're stacked up from two wide from second on back. Looks like Ankrum is going to get second up on the outside, but Atwell's not going anywhere. Atwell's going to tuck back him into line in the third spot. Bobby Good currently residing in fourth with Daniel Key Jr. in fifth. Anthony Cataldi in sixth. Chiquette's on the outside right now. Of Rich Clauser. Towards the tail end. Brad Mays now up on the outside trying to get around Clauser with Rogers right behind him. The 100 laps, ladies and gentlemen, so there's still plenty of time to go. Plenty of time to go. Looks like Ankrum's still trying to run up on Sergi here in the 58. Here we go. Lap traffic up ahead. And here comes Tyler Ankrum to the inside. Tyler Ankrum won the 100 lapper here on opening night. Ankrum's not going to get it. But he's still going to stay close. Oh, here comes Ankrum to the inside again. Looks like he's going to bump Sergi loose. Oh, here we go. Back to one and two. Tyler Ankrum's still going to stay down low. Sergi's still up top. Here goes Michael Atwell pulling up beside him up on the top. Ankrum's going to try and hang on to the second spot. He's going to stay right behind Sergi as Atwell goes up high. by a nose, but the scoreboard is still saying it was Ankrum. Now Atwell pulls in the second. Tyler Ankrum's going to drop back in the third. Ooh, Atwell gets shoved up high. And Ankrum comes back in the second. Exciting battle for second. That had occurred. Ankrum's going to see if he can try again on Sergi here in the coming laps here in that 58 car. He's going to try low. 
If you look at his options down there, you can see that many. He's going to try it again on the bottom. Again, not going to gain any ground. As that 20 car of Anthony Cerchi still maintains the lead. We're going to go three wide. Tyler Ankrum shoves Anthony Cerchi out of the lead, out of the way. You have a new race leader. Almost had an accident there with the lap car of Rush Shaw in the 68. But we have a new leader, everybody, and that is Tyler Ankrum. Michael Ackrell now going to try and take second away from Cerchi as they come out of two. Side by side, the 51 and the 20. Cerchi still hangs on for second. Atwell's going to try again on the front stretch. Down to one. Atwell trying to take second. Not going to work. There you go. Let's see if it's going to work. Out of two. No, it's not. Sergi is still hanging on to second. Looks like Daniel Keene is trying to take away four from Bobby Good. Atwell gets a little bit loose. Up front, Ankrum is still trucking. right now is trying to put a little bit of distance between himself and Sergi. A past track champion, Anthony Sergi from Oviedo. Atwell's going to just looking to see how he can get around this 20 seconds. He's cracked down Atwell. He's going to try again. Inside. He's going to stay low. He's going to try the inside line again. It's not working for him. Yeah, let's see what's going to happen. Nothing much, really. He's going to try again. He's going to stick low to the inside. Here he goes. Oh. Man, Atwell is just going to keep shifting away at that 20. He's going to see any possible way to get around him. of Daniel Webster has pulled into the pit. So far, Ankrum has gotten the lead and he is maintaining that lead. Here we go. Atwell to try on the inside again. Atwell is not giving up on Searchy. Atwell to the inside again. He's going to bump into Searchy a little bit. trying that inside to get around the 20. Even if it's the last thing that he does in this race, he is going to keep trying on the inside to see if he can get around that 20. The 17 of Blaze Hetznecker is off the pace. His team was actually in the stands before the race throwing t-shirts the crowd. And Hetznecker is pulling off the track and he's out of the race. He got a little bit of ground there on Sergi Atwell off of two that last time. But uh, doesn't appear to be gaining much ground. He's going to keep going low in the corner. Sergi's going to keep going high in the corner. So it just doesn't appear that anything's working for Atwell. He's going to try again. Ooh. Ooh. Atwell got a little bit loose when he bumped into that last time by. So far, your leader, Tyler Ankrum, he's checked out. Sayonara, Ankrum is trying to run away with this thing. It looks like Hetznecker's rejoining the race. Atwell's going to 
gonna try again. Looks like he's gonna have a run on Searchy off of two. Atwell side by side, not gonna happen. Anthony Searchy still maintains the second spot. They're gonna motor through three and four around the lap car of Blake's Hetznecker. Atwell gonna try again, go low. This is a race of patience. In terms of short track racing, 100 laps is like the NASCAR Cup drivers running, running 200. It's a race of patience. Ooh, Atwell got right up under the bumper search. He's trying to run him. Oh, here comes Atwell to the inside off of two. Michael Atwell trying to stay on the bottom of the racetrack as they go back to three and four. The battle for second resumes. He spins searching. Into the wall goes the 20. The 51 of Michael Atwell has spun Anthony Sergi around through three, and at the edge of the four, that 20 sits on the top of the wall. Sergi has the car spun around. He's going to bring it down into the pits. But the caution, first caution of the, second caution of the race has come out for Anthony Sergi. Clauser's pulling into the pits in the 77. So issues with the 77 of Rich Clauser as well. He's in the pits. Oh, the black flag has come out for Michael Atwell. The black flag is out. Since Atwell spun searching into the wall, the black flag came out. His number is on the board. And Atwell now has to go to the back. That moves the 27 car of Bobby Good into the second spot and Daniel King Jr. in the 5K into third. Caution's still out as Atwell has moved to the back of the lead lap cars. Well, it's now pulled into the pits. He's doing a drive-through penalty. Drive, driving into the pits. Daniel Webster is rejoining the field in the 33. And it was a stop-and-go penalty for the 51 of Atwell. But Hetznecker, Sergi, and Klauser are all on pit road with work being done to their cars. Right now, the double up signal is being given. Everybody is going to double up. Your race leader, Tyler Ankrum, has chosen the outside lane for this restart. And uh, Anthony Sergi has rejoined the race in the 20. Rich Klauser is going to get back out there in the 77. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Pace truck is going to be pulling off of the racetrack. The green flag is going to come out right about now. We're back racing. I think it's a good start. But here comes Bobby Good right up on his bumper as they come off a of two. Ankrum's going to just pull away in the 58 car. Here comes Anthony Cataldi in the double zero to the inside of Bobby Good for second. Cataldi's going to go to the inside of Bobby Good. Not going to get much ground. Good for him. Everybody now has their eyes on that black number 58 of Tyler Ankrum. 
And here comes Dave Rogers, blowing past Cataldi into third. Right now, we got some good racing here at about that middle group there. Green in the 12D. Matwell's going to bump the 12D. Michael Atwell trying to charge back up to the Here comes David Green. Looks like we have a four way battle for the fifth spot going on. Front stretch, Cataldi goes around hard into the inside wall. That's the double zero. Spun around, coming down the front straightaway, hit the inside wall. You can see the impact, skidded through the grass, and there he is coming to a rest. He is resting right there on the front straightaway, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to see if he's okay. There is somebody speaking to Cataldi inside of that double zero machine. Hit on the hit the hit on the inside wall. Now it was now thankful. Now here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Cataldi climbing out of the car, ladies and gentlemen. He is okay. Thankfully, that hit was on the passenger side and not the driver's side as the car had spun around by the time it had hit the inside wall. So he got out of the car under his own power, and there he is just kind of uh, inspecting the damage to his car, just kind of walking around it. There's Cataldi, just kind of looking around, walking around by his car. You can see the damage to the front. They have the hood propped open. You can see that damage to the front the nose of the car. Brad May is in the pits right now in the ninth car. So cleanup is underway to remove the double zero of Anthony Cataldi from the front straightaway. As they run, it goes Ankrum, Good, Rogers, Chiquette, Keen, Atwell, Green, Webster, Shaw. And in the pits, it is May, Hetznecker, Sergi, and Clauser. With Anthony Cataldi currently being out of tonight's event. Brad May is going to come pulling off the pit road, rejoining the race. Right now, there's some work going on in the pits with Bowser's um, number 77.
there's the double zero of Cataldi getting towed away. Here you can get a really good vantage point on that damage to the car when it comes down. And they spin the car, when it comes down pit road, kind of in our direction, you'll, you'll be able to see the damage on that car a little bit clearer. See about here you can see the damage to that double zero, at least the extent of it on that passenger side. And it is obvious that Mr. Cataldi will not be returning to tonight's event. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, getting taken behind the wall. The remnants of the double zero machine. Tough break for Cataldi. Blaze Hetznecker is coming back on the track to rejoin the field, as has Rick Clauser. So all the remaining drivers in the field are still on the track. Double up, double up, double up. That's the signal the official is giving. All right, pace truck pulling off the track. Green flag is out in the air. We're back racing. Arkham's going to get a, get a great start. Here comes Jeff Chiquette on the outside. Chiquette's going to try and follow into second. Going to try and stay as close as they can to that 58, but that 58 is going to pull away. Chiquette's going to try and move into second. Bobby Good is still there. Michael Atwell trying to barge his way back up front. Bobby Good's not letting second go. Try and try. He's gonna try and stick up there as much as he can. Here goes Michael Atwell pulling back into third. Atwell back up to the front. Here comes Atwell to the inside of Chiquette. So far, it seems like the leaders they've caught up to Tyler Ankrum a little bit. They're not letting him pull away as much as he did the last couple of times. Try and reel him in a little bit. Chiquette looks like he's going to try and a little bit on the high lane. Battle for fourth between Good and Rogers. Atwell's going to go low again. Rogers going to try to go for fourth. Here we go, Dave Rogers on the bottom of the racetrack trying to get around. Good for the fourth spot. Dan in the battle for fourth here. Side by side for the fourth spot. Really great battle going on between the 11 and the 27. Briefly going to make it three wide there on the West Shaw. Dave Rogers looks like he's about to try and win the battle for the fourth spot. Off of four, and he does. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as our leaders are coming to the line, we are halfway done with the race, halfway home in tonight's event. Chiquette's closed on Ankrum. He's trying to close in on Tyler Ankrum in the corner. It seems that Chiquette can get a bit of a run on Ankrum in the corners, but not so much on the straights. See that Chiquette's trying to use the corners to the advantage. Here he goes. Here we go. Battle for the lead. Chiquette got right up on Ankrum there. Here we go. At a turn number two, 
Gloves. Chicken gets a little bit loose here. Trying to get the lead from Tyler Ankrum. He wants that lead. And that red number nine there in between the two black cars, uh, the 58 and the 51. Chiquette's going to try it again. Not going to work up top. Here we go. He's going to try it again. Going to get right up on the bumper at the 58. Here comes Atwell to the bottom. Michael Atwell to the bottom of Jeff Chiquette. Not going to get second. Here comes Chiquette trying the outside of Ankrum. Chiquette up on the wall. Down the front straight away they go through one and two. Jeff Chiquette is going to get the lead off too, but Tyler Rankin's not going to give the lead that easy. Michael Atwood trying to work on the 58 for a second. There they go off of four. Our new leader, Jeff Chiquet. Our third race leader of the night. Akram gets a little bit loose. Michael Atwell takes second. Here comes Roger. Here comes Atwell now trying to get the Atwell now wants the lead. As we're having to get it set to the back for spinning Sergi out earlier in this race. Atwell has bounced back nicely. Here he is in second, trying to get the lead from Jeff Chiquette. Here he goes, trying the bottom. Not gonna work. Chiquette still has the lead. Go. He's going to try the bottom again. Not going to work. He's going to stay low again. Here comes Atwell off of four, trying to stay on the bottom. Wimpy watching. Not going to happen. So he's going to keep going towards the bottom of the track. He's going to see if he can try and you know, work on Chiquette and away at that red number nine and see what he can do in the 51 car to get around him. off the pace. But up front is still Jeff Chiquette. Followed by Michael Atwell, Tyler Ankrum, Dave Rogers, Anthony Searchy, Daniel King Jr., Bobby Good, David Green, Rich Lesnar, Brad May, and Russ Shaw with Blake Peck and Mr. Holt the race.
to strike. 30 laps remaining. Here comes Atwell trying to get to Ted again on the back straightaway. He's pulling, he's trying to reel that 51 in close. And here comes Ackerman in the 50 end. He wants to lead again. Atwell's gonna try and take that car to the bottom. Not gonna happen. Here comes Ankrum now in the 58. goes around in the 51. Caution. I couldn't tell if anybody touched them. It just looks like the 51 got a little bit loose and uh, just went around coming out of four. Third caution of the race has come out. For a spin at a turn for the 51 of Michael Atwell. Ankrum being sent to the back. Although it, his number's not on the board and it doesn't appear that the black flag was waived, they are telling the 58 of Tyler Ankrum to go to the back as apparently he did make contact with the 51 of Michael Atwell. Oh, no, the 50, no, the black flag has come out. 51 uh, has come out again, as that 51 is the one that's on the number board. But they, so. Yep. The 51 of Michael Atwell, black flag. Ankrum has gone into the pits, so has Rush Shaw. Brad May is rejoining the race. With that, the top three is now Chiquette, Rogers, and Sergi. Rashaw is now joining Blaze Exnagger and Anthony Cataldi as being the third DNF of the night. The field is now being brought down the pit road because the 68 of Rush Shaw had leaked fluids onto the track.
everybody is back out on the racetrack. to double up. The remaining drivers in this race are lining up side by side. Your leader, Jeff Chiquette, has chosen the outside lane for this restart. All right, here we go, the one to go signal. The one to go signal is now coming out. Next time by, we will be back to green flag racing. Here we go. Pace truck going down into pit road. Coming to the line. Green flags out. We're back racing. Great jump on the start. Great starts for Chiquette and Daniel Keen. David Green is now coming up into the third spot in the 12 D. Here comes Keen. Where did this 5K car come from? Here comes Keen coming, trying to get the. Oh man, Atwell storming back into the fourth spot. Here comes Daniel Keen trying to get the lead by. Right now, Keen is trying to get a run on Chiquette. Here we go, Keen to the inside. Oh, Chiquette gonna hold him off. Hold him off here. Here we go. Keen's going to stay low. Not gonna Daniel Keen's going to try the bottom. Got a little bit loose here. But here comes David Green in the 12D trying to mix things up a bit. Laps remaining. Your leader is Jeff Chiquette. Can he hold off the advancing horde to win the 20th annual Clyde Hart Memorial 100? Daniel Keen's gonna shift down low again. Nothing's gonna happen. Right now we're getting a little bit of racing back here. 
Ankrum trying to get up around high. Oh, they're trying again, like third, three, four, five. They're getting a little bit squirrely. Here comes Ankrum trying to get to the bottom. Here comes David Green to the inside of Daniel Keene. Down the back straightaway, the 12D, David Green. Where did this man come from? Out of nowhere, David Green has scored second. David Green coming out of nowhere, storming up into the second spot in that 12D car. Let's see here if he can be the surprise winner of the night. You never know, you never know with racing. Plenty of race left. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. Here comes Rogers in the 11, trying to stage a charge to the front. Brad Mays been trying to do this, that thing this whole race. Mays been trying to get to the front in that nine car. That's ever since this thing started. He qualified that car on the pole. To the top eight cars got inverted, so he's started in the eighth spot. Uh, here comes David Green trying to close the gap between him and Chiquette. Here comes Green shifting down low. inside of Chiquette. Green. David Green is going to stick low in the 12D. Oh, he's going to move Chiquette up out of the way. Chiquette's going to save it. Coming to the line. Ten laps to go. Looks like David Green could be your race leader. Oh, he's still bumping and rubbing with Chiquette. Down the back straightaway. Chiquette's still maintaining the lead. David Green's not going away. Here goes Michael Atwell in the 51. Chiquette still has the race lead. What a great try by David Green in getting that lead. That was amazing, my friend. Here comes Atwell in the 51, trying to spoil the 12th party. Here comes Atwell to the inside. Working on green these last few laps in the 51 car. So let's see if Atwell can get second. Here we go. Coming out of turn number four. Down the fresh right away to the line. Five laps to go. Five laps remaining. Here we go now. Let's see if David Green can get up there with Jeff Chiquette again and do what he was doing a few laps ago. Green's going to try the inside line. Here we go, coming to the line. Two laps to go. Two laps remaining in the Clyde Hart Memorial 100. Next time by, the white flag is going to be displayed. Here we go. 
coming out of turn number four to the, to the start finish line. White flag in the air, just to get the leader. Jeff Chiquet is no stranger to 100 lap races. Last year in May of 2016, Chiquet won his first race since the Snowball Derby in Snowball Derby years ago, and Jeff Chiquet will win the Clyde Hart 100, and there's fireworks going off. It turns one and two to celebrate this win. The fireworks are going off. And congratulations to your winner, Jeff Chiquet, for winning the 20th annual Clyde Hart Memorial 100. Those are some nice fireworks. And ladies and gentlemen, here he is, coming into the Hampton and Victory Lane, your winner of the 20th annual Clyde Hart Memorial 100, Jeff Chiquet.